Well, I'm on to my next project now, and from the earlier in the video, you saw the, the few hints, so maybe you have guessed something. Now, this is it. I'm, I want to convert this into a tiny home. And it's a 20 foot shipping container, so it's not very big, and I want to try and put a little workshop in, and my office, and my kitchen, and my bed, and maybe a shower. Now the reason I've faced it like this is so that the sun will go over the top directly because it, it's a pretty hot climate here. So now let's go inside. <coughs> now there's a lot of stuff in here I've got to do something with. And I've still got a heap more stuff but every, most of my whatever I've got is in here and a lot of it's just rubbish and junk so this is it I need to figure out how to fit what I want to fit in here and I have one I have a goal that I've set in this is to try and do it as cheap as I could possibly do it because I don't have much money at the moment and I really need to make this for build this out for nothing well I still have to spend some money but I'm gonna try Recycled stuff, reclaim stuff, to see whatever I can get to try and make this fit. So, my idea <coughs> is, in the end here, I'm going to, I would like to cut out a big window. That way I can, the, bree the breeze here, it's always windy here, so the breeze always will blow straight in through here and straight through. So that will keep this thing cool if I had that window open all day. And I'd like to, like, Put my my kitchen bench here, like my kitchen all the way across, all the way across this end here, and right next to the kitchen, I like to put my door. I put a doorway, in, cut a door out here. So we'll see if that works. And the other thing, I'm going to go over here and on the other side, I'd like to try and fit a little shower, just a tiny one. Doesn't have to be that big. And then I want to go across the other across in the middle section. See, so that's the door at the back. Try and try and fit my, my office desk and stuff like that, and we might try and put some shelves up there somehow. And on the other side, I would maybe just put I would probably put some storage cupboards and storage shelves. And then what I'd like to go and do the next bit is I'd like to somehow put a bed in, which is going to be I would like it about you know a certain distance height, about halfway, whatever. There, and I was wondering whether to put a lounge chair underneath or have the bed there and then when I come in the other side because I'm going to access the workshop from here I want to come in and maybe have the, the bed over the top and then have like a maybe like a workbench or a storage cupboard for my tools and stuff on this side and that leaves me a little bit of space here to put my lathe and a few of my other tools on both both sides so if you've got ideas and would like to help me out with designing this thing, please comment and let me know because I I don't have a lot of idea of what I'm doing, so we have to see. Um, I've I've already got some solar panels here, already waiting to go, and I'd like to insulate the roof because it does get pretty hot. But I don't know how that's going to happen at the moment. And yeah, so I'd like to fit this out. So it is about 160 square feet of floor space. Let's go and look at it. I'll show it to you on the drawing. Well, here's going to be the drawing. Now, this side here is the east side. So that's where the wind goes this way. So, this is my idea. Now the main doors are here. And I would like to um, put the other door here, just a, little, just, a, just a normal little door. So that's going to be the door. Now, I would like to go along here with my kitchen maybe put a shower here 
if it fits and then I would like to, here's going to be, I think this should be the workshop here. I haven't worked out exact sizes at the moment. So this is going to be the workshop. And then I'd like to have my office here. Office. And then so that this side over here can be, become like a storage area. Now I don't, I want to put, I want to fit a lounge chair in there somewhere. Or couch, as some people may call it, in here. So I don't know whether to put it below the storage area, or try and fit it in beside it, maybe. But then I need to put my bed in here somehow. So I haven't worked out whether to put the bed across here, high and high enough, and then have my lounge chair underneath the bed. I mean, you won't be able to stand up because of the height, but you you could bend in there just to sit down. So that'd be fair. Or I should put some of the workshop under the be bed, whether I do the whole bed or half the bed for the workshop, or do the lounge chair on one side and still have a bit of workshop on the other side. So I don't know. But that that wall here will be sealed off so that you can't, so all the dirt and dust doesn't go through into my into my little house. And so above the bed, at each end, I would like to put a little window. Like a little here. Here and here, I like to put windows just little ones so that way the breeze will come this way through the, through the main here is going to be a big window and then the breeze is just going to go straight through there and it's going to go out this window and it's going to go out that window so generally it will be cool all the time so I won't always have to insulate it so this is what I'm looking at um, this, remember this this here is the north side you're probably looking at it upside down so if any of you can help me out for ideas and just see what we can do because I, I like to do it but I just want to try and fit all this in without being too crammed but keeping in mind my, my goal which is to build it for nothing for, build it for nothing or as cheap as possible so that's it for now, thanks for watching and just let me know.